Good afternoon, everyone. So, what you're seeing here is a uh, ginger peel. Is another homemade fertilizer. We got some over here as well. A little. Bit, uh, these ones are a bit dried for about more than about a month. These are about two weeks old, uh, half dried. So, what we are going to do is uh, use them as fertilizer. So, in ginger, it's actually an uh, antioxidant and saves the various types of uh, infections. And if you know, if you do, we can do your Google search and see. Uh, ginger has got iron, magnesium, zinc, and helps uh, dissolve the nutrients in the uh, uh, soil as well. So ginger is really good. It's true that uh, once you, I dried up some because uh, to avoid the what do you call the the fruit flies. Uh, but there is half dried ones. The fruit flies might get uh, uh, attracted to it. But uh, once they dry up and start uh, decomposing, they'll disappear. I've tried this before because I've tried the lemons as well, lemon peels as well. So they've been uh, disappearing. Only thing is if they stay for a bit too long, you can give a good flush of water and the fruit flies will disappear off. Only thing is I'll show you uh, when I'm applying it. So it's, uh, you can try this as well. All right, guys. So we have got some uh, beautiful uh, beetroot going up here. So we're going to put some of the ginger peels in this pot uh, because this is something that is growing underground I mean uh, beneath the soil level so they will need some antioxidants and the soil to be enriched so let's see how they are growing they are already growing very well so good and then there is some cauliflower and uh, carrots over here you can see the carrots are growing up here so i'm laying these on the sides as well not much so that you don't attract the fruit flies too many just lay a bit and then i'm actually going to put a few in this one got some tomato and kangkungs growing up here this is a, a new pot and here's some kale and beautiful basils again so anyway once you start doing your gardening you will have uh, uh, fruit flies and other insects coming up if you're going 100% organic you have to uh, start uh, dealing with them now I'm someone who don't really like to deal with snails they're a bit slimy and sticky but now I've got used to it I just give them a kick sometimes I'll uh, pick them up with my own hands uh, and get rid of them and we've got some uh, uh, chili plants growing up here I'm just going to drop a few on these things so this is it i'm just showing you as well what i'm doing so that you don't feel uh tricky or uncomfortable that uh what i tell is what i'm not doing so this is about what we do i'm pretty sure these do the job so not much so that's about it we've got all the ginger peels in so they're all growing good so let's see how this goes up and i'm sure you can try this as well uh, might as well grind them if you can and you can pour them as a juice into the soil as well but I have put them as pieces so let them slow uh, do a slow release into the soil and give a nice boost to all these carrots coming up and the cauliflowers so many things you can try up in all the various pots uh, plants which you're uh, growing so good luck guys try and see uh, don't waste your uh, fertilizers that things ingredients that you put away on onto your bin which you can really use over here but don't put a lot and uh, manage the quantity so that you don't uh, bring in more uh, pest or flies into your gardening area so enjoy guys try and uh, as much as uh, say uh, use the uh, disposable items uh, and uh, enjoy good luck